just a short video to kick the channel off with. Um, we stood in the living room of our early 1900s house, um, which we're currently restoring slash renovating. Just to start off with, here's a cool little uh, piece of a uh, bit of newspaper we actually found under the floor of the house when we renovated that. Hopefully you can see that. So it's got the date on it. I mean, we've got a few different scraps here. Um, and they're very delicate, so there's, there's no full page or anything. But quite nice to see uh, to see something from when it was. When it was but there's also a, cool, a few little old matchboxes. I'll, I'll put a picture of if I remember to do that. So a quick catch up of where we're at. Because obviously, looking at as you can see, we've already done uh, some work already. We're not at the beginning of this. Um, so we've got the, we've built um, a stud wall on all the external walls in this room and that's the plan in every room of the house so every external wall will have an internal stud wall built into it with uh, insulation within that and, and then plasterboard and plaster and refinish the room, uh, re the other walls at the same time just to, just to make it look nice and fresh. Um, so in this room, this wall here, um, the stud and the insulation's in. So that's just the base of it. Got the stud wall around the base. And the same up the top. Um, so the stud wall at the front there around the around the front of the room, around the window, is, is still just to get finished off and then the insulation to get put in. And that'll happen during this week and hopefully be done ready uh, for the weekend for us to crack on with some, uh, some more jobs. So what we've done in this room so far, just things that I wasn't recording in this sort of fashion. I've done a few pictures and things along the way. Um, we replaced the lintel, so we've got this built-in sort of shelving unit um, just here. It was original, because the stonework reflects that on the original wall. I hopefully have a few pictures now on the screen of of what was there. Um, so there was a rotten timber lintel across that. Um, rotworm, uh, rotworm, sorry, uh, woodworm all the way through. Um, it was rotten. You, you couldn't touch it. it. It would just crumble to pieces. So there was no uh, there was no structural integrity there. So that got. Uh, propped up, taken out and replaced with two concrete lintels which were then uh, put in place and then the props were removed and then the, the stone were any loose stones that were around it that fell apart were, were put back in place um, using a, a lime mortar that, that we need to use because we used because of the sandstone. Uh, other things that we've done also is all the, the old floorboards came up. Um, those got chucked in the bin because they were a lot of them were rotten. So instead of risking uh, leaving some that were rotten that we had no, hadn't noticed, got rid of them. Uh, a few joists that were gone in places were were cut and replaced uh, with new ones. Um, quite difficult getting the sizes, old sizes nowadays from a timber merchant. You generally either have to buy smaller and have it raised higher or buy bigger and cut notches out of it which i think is what we did in the end um so we did that um under the floor so we insulated at the same time as replacing the floorboard so under there's all insulated just with lofting uh, just with the the rock wall insulation and we also rerun the wiring through this room um, and through actually most of the downstairs just uh, there's no chain, real change to the circuitry, just repositioned a few sockets and uh, just got rid of some joints that were in it from changes over the years. So it's just one one nice loop all the way through. The only joints will be at the at each of the sockets, each of the outlets. So the, the plan with this particular project with the house is to, to work on it. We're going to work on it in the evenings, but mostly on the weekend. And we'll plan on putting a video up once once a week or, or once a fortnight depending on what we're doing uh, and depending if there's any any interesting updates or something we'll just try and show the major milestones that we've reached along the way as well as doing that we'll 
Um, I'll be trying to do other videos of things, other jobs, other projects that I've got going on. Um, so I've got a, a couple of videos to do of, of things in the garage. Um, um, either making a, a, a workbench and airline setup. Um, I've got a barbecue idea that I want to make out of an old hot water tank. So I'd like to do that at some point. I've also got a mini. Um, that's going to be a good project to get stuff into once the garage is all set up and cleared out so that'll be a good one to get stuff into we'll do some some good videos on that hopefully um so yeah that's the sort of plan of this this room and this channel um if anyone's got any experience or uh, so experience first any suggestions of things they've done with a, a sandstone house any issues things they've had or just or a stud wall or renovating anything then please uh, comment away um any any information is useful any questions or tips, suggestions with anything, um, whether they're positive or negative, fire them away. Um, all the information is great to receive, I won't be offended in any way. I'm, I'm no means a professional at any of the things we're doing, I'm not doing these as tutorials, these are just us working on our own house, our own projects, um, and just sharing the experience and sharing the, sharing the uh, the outcome and the journey along the way so yeah any any comments uh, comment away if you enjoying this video or maybe not so it's more of an introduction but if you uh, if you want to see more videos following up uh, the rest of the house and other things then then like and subscribe and uh, we'll catch you next time